Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be playing Timberborn. Um, we're going to be playing as the folk tales that are either going but hard working. Now, Timberborn is essentially a game where um, humans have ceased to exist, and beavers have taken over. So, you have to build your civilization, but with beavers. And we're going to be naming our civilization or settlement as the zones. So let's build some paths up here. We'll put them to there so we can then place two lumberjack flags. Put them there. And after those beavers take up the job, they will start cutting all the trees that I have marked. So let's just go mark some trees then. So I think we'll also mark these trees down here, coming over here, so then I think if I place a lumberjack flag there, no okay that won't reach, I'll place it a bit further down, but I will place a gatherer flag right here, because that can reach all of these berries and these berries. So if I just build a the path down here a bit I think yes actually there's one tree it can't reach and that's really upsetting me so we're just gonna just change that real quick we'll put it there and then we'll put the lumberjack flag right there and perfect so these two um, lumberjack flags have been built and we've got Senwe um, and Gilter as the lumberjacks so right now they are cutting down the trees giving us logs as we can see in the top left we've got eight um, we've got two unemployed beavers at the moment so I think we we'll want to get them to demolish that so then the water will flow into here and we'll, all of this will become like this lush and green yeah so this beaver here is going to demolish these rocks and when he does so or when they do so the water will flow in oh there he is right there behind that tree yeah see all of this is flowing in and then this that is coming lush and green Okay, so, other than food and materials, oh, materials, actually, I'll need uh, storage for them, so I'll put a log pile there, and I'm, I will need storage for berries, so I'll make you hold berries, and you can hold uh, the logs, but other than that, we will need water, obviously, to keep these beavers alive, so I place two water pumps there, then connect uh, a path going into each of them I will then connect the path going up there and since it's night time these beavers don't have anywhere to sleep so they will just sleep on the floor we've got some children adults so we have to wait for the children to grow up into adults and then we will then get more beavers that can uh, get jobs. And right now we have one un unemployed beaver. Yeah, here he is. So I think if I just let you into there. Um, so these two, or these three now, they are our construction workers. So they will um, be the beavers that move logs from the flags into the log pile then take them from the log pile or from the flags down into the um, destinations um, to then be built so we don't have un any unemployed beavers right now but when we get the first water pump built I will um, get one of these three to work in the water pump yep 
So if I just go like that, we now have someone in the water pump. Ooh, yes. And that will remind me. I We will need to get some storage for the water. Each of these can hold 30 and they cost 15 logs to build. Oh, I didn't think we would get one of uh, the worker in here, but it turns out that uh, one of the children has grown up. Which is very useful because now we have two beavers in the water pumps. Oh yeah, see? This is good this is good timing. All the beavers have now got thirsty. But we have now got two beavers um, that are collecting water for us. And the first small tank has now got everything it needs to be built. It's just someone needs to build it. So right now our average well-being is minus one because none of the beavers have any shelter. Which is not good. Okay, it's morning. I think um, all of these small trees and dead trees, the quicker we do this, the quicker I will be able, uh, we will be able to make um, a farmhouse and plant carrots. Because we won't have, because berries won't be enough to support this whole, this whole civilization. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of these trees, because... I'm going to eventually get some inventors, so I can research the forester, um, which plants trees and bushes, and I'll, uh, this will be the area where we will grow trees. Now, if we start running out of food or logs, there's a bunch more trees and berries up here. And if we need to, we can always go around here to these berries and these trees. So this is a very good spawn, um, I guess that's why they would recommend it. But for now, um, since everything we have needed is built, I think we should uh, start building the beavers houses. I think that would be a good idea. So if I go to housing, uh, lodge. One. Each lodge holds three beavers. So there we go. Now all we need to do is connect a path to them. And I think since that's there, um, it'll be, it might be worth just getting, oh, and actually I need, it might be worth getting rid of these two. So it turns out all of these are too far away from our main building. So no beavers will, builders or construction workers will uh, demolish them. But now all of them are in reach. Yes, this is the distance of how far they can reach. So soon builders uh, these two, after they finish doing whatever they're doing, um, should come and demolish these. Oh, and it turns out that Vinji has also grown up. And that was yesterday, actually. So we'll put him into construction. Oh, right, yes, this is what they're building. The houses. So we now have enough buildings for six and... If this starts getting built, no, okay. But well, we have enough um, space for six beavers to go into houses. And then this one will be built in the morning because it's got all the materials it needs. That will be nine. And then after this one is built, all the beavers will have somewhere to stay. And they won't have to sleep on the floor. So we will just wait for the beavers to go into their houses. I don't know why they're not. Oh, there they go. And then the rest of them have to sleep out here for now. One, two, three, four. Oh, there they are. Okay, yeah. I didn't see these two at first. So I don't think we will actually need these. Or these. 
anymore. But I think uh, we should get a farmhouse or two. Let's get two. Oh, and it turns out Voyambi has now grown up. So we now have another unemployed beaver. Not anymore. But if we do get any more beavers, they will be a farmer. Oh, and look at that. All of our beavers now have somewhere to stay. Oh, our average well-being is now two. It should be four um, when this goes up because all the beavers have shelter, just not all of them have used them yet. So after tonight, we will have an average well-being of three or four. It should be four that we have an average well-being of. Are all of these full? Really? Damn. Oh, yep, we now have a farmhouse, and this one is almost built as well. So I think if I do this, take one from there. If I demolish that, um, and I will also get rid of these paths. And... I'll put all of these on high priority so then that way um, that I can we can start planting carrots in a bigger area now I've decided to put um, peop them in different ones these two will, will right now all of them will focus on uh, planting but if I change this one to harvesting since we don't have any carrots right now, all of them will plant the um, carrots. But when they grow up, these two will focus on um, planting them. And this one will focus on harvesting them. So I... Oh, no. That's the wrong one. I think if I go to here... What? That? Should that be enough? I think that'll be enough. Uh, plant them here too. So yeah, all the beavers right now, these three farmers, uh, they will plant the carrots and each carrot takes four days to grow and each carrot that's planted will give us three when they are harvested. So there's only one beaver up here who isn't an adult. Either today at some point or tomorrow in the game. Um, they will become an adult. Actually, I think it might be, like, in a few seconds. I guess we'll find out. Yes! Would you look at that? Seji has now grown up and is an adult beaver, so we now have four farmers. And the four farmers, or, yep, the four farmers, almost planted all the carrots in one day. That is very good. So right now, all of our beavers have a job. Which is good and bad at the same time, because that means we don't have any beavers for anything else. Actually, we don't need this anymore. I take that back. We now have enough beavers... Um, we have one beaver left. So yeah, they can now reach all of these berry bushes. And since they have nothing else to do, they should to, uh, destroy, finish destroying these and then move on to these. I think a good, a good idea would be to build a dam. So when the drought comes, we will we will have a dam to keep the water. Oh, would you look at that? Our average well-being is four, and all the carrots have finished being planted. So we have a hundred and three berries right now, which is very good. Okay, 
but you're there, where's... Oh, there they are, oh, they are both here. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, as, as we're going to see in the bottom left, yesterday, a Tay was born. So we now have no more space in our houses, but we have a new beaver. So I think if I build another path there, or not there. After that's built, we will be able to have even more beavers. And I think down here, we will have the... Actually, what will we have down here? Maybe the, like... The lumber mill and buildings like that. Yeah, I think that would work. If I put it there, then the beavers won't be able to craft the power world. If I put it there, connect the path up to it. So that's the door, right? Yep. And then put a power wheel, or a water wheel, sorry, right there. The beavers, if I put a path down here, they will be able to craft both of these. Put that on high priority because we need more beavers for the lumber mill. We'll have one spare one, a beaver. But I think we would need more. So, right now we've got a good little civilization going. We've got carrots, we've got houses, we've got water, we've got, we've got logs, we've got materials. We have a lot. Oh, I'll, it turns out our new house has been built. Okay, the dam is being built, which is very good. The first part of the dam has been built. So this is what it looks like. Um, it stops the water from going through, unless it is just, a, the water level is above um, the wood there, but because when the drought comes, or the dry season, that dam will keep all this water here. And it will allow these carrots to keep on growing, and the, these beavers over here. Oh, and it turns out two more beavers have been born. Although that might mean we need more carrots. And we're running out of food, so that's not good at all. I think what I do though, because we have one unemployed beaver, I'll connect a path to in there. I'll make a path through these trees up to here. And I will put a gatherer's flag right there. I put the construction site on high command as well. Oh, that's the unemployed beaver. Sorry, I, I saw it running and I thought it was going to build the, um... So if I just put that one at the lowest command, uh, possible, for now, the beaver, uh, uh, one construction worker, yep, there they are. They, um, are going to make that. I'll put that back on the highest command as well. Oh, okay, well, I don't think I should have done that. I'll put on the lowest command once again. Also, I'm going to build a path there, just to make it quicker for the beavers to go through. Um, yeah, I'll wait for this to be done. I think there's the beaver. Yeah, there, there's the beaver that is going to finish making this gatherer's flag. And we now have a gatherer. You don't need to prioritise nothing. 
I'll put that back in the highest command. So the carrots, um, the carrots will be growing at some point during day 10. So let's just fast forward until the morning. Let's see, are any new beavers going to be born today, tonight? Appears not. So these carrots are 91% done and they will be finished, finished growing. So they can reach all the way up to here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the farm a bit when they start harvesting them. We now have almost half of the bridge built. Okay, all the trees over here has been harvested. Except for these ones that are still growing. This one's actually 99% done. So I guess we'll get to see this pine tree and these carrots start to grow. Yeah, look at that. The carrots are now growing. And this tree is at 100%. So it should be growing in a few seconds. But I don't think that's very important right now. Yeah, so this, these two farmers, they are prioritizing planting. And these two are have prioritized um, harvesting. So they'll have these two beavers harvesting and these two, wait. Did I get that wrong? I think I got that wrong. Yeah, I think these two beavers um, will prioritize planting, and these two will prioritize harvesting. And we now have our average of being a five because we have a different food source: carrots. Do we have any extra spaces in these houses? We do. Oh, just as I check, we have a new beaver. I think we are going to make two inventors since we have four children beavers. Or, oh. Uh, so they can start um, inventing, giving us science. Obviously they won't be built straight away because this dam is at the highest priority. Oh, that would be why. Okay, so I think if I put this back to berries, this beaver will start moving the berries down into here. But we don't want that, so I'm going to make another house right here. And this one will be for carrots. And just so it gets built, I'll put that one at the lowest command so this one can be built. So we can have berries in here, carrots in here. And then when the berries have all gone, we'll put this to carrots as well. So until we have some carrot leftovers. I don't know why that's happened. So, if you guys enjoy this content, subscribing would be a great help. You can always unsubscribe later if you don't enjoy the content I make. And make sure to hit that thumbs up button and turn on notifications. Now, if you guys would like me to continue this um, Timberborn series, just tell me in the comments. If you would like to suggest a game for me to play, put it down in the comments. I will read it. If I have the game that you suggest, totally, I'll, I'll play it. And if you'd like to see me continue this series, I'll be happy to because I love Timberborn. It's a great game. So I actually think I'm going to switch these beavers to uh, prioritize harvesting as well so then all four of the beavers are harvesting the carrots oh that's really cool actually you have the little carrot boxes and the berry boxes that's really cool i never noticed that before yeah this beaver is collecting these berries up here these beavers are collecting these carrots down here i think i'm going to Construction like materials. Oh yes, we don't have any logs. Or we don't have many logs. That is not good. But we always have logs up here, so I will put a lumber 
two lumberjack flags up here and demolish these two lumberjack flags down here keep that path there put both of these on high command since we don't have any logs they can't build these but these don't cost anything to be built so they will prioritize going over to here and making these which will allow them to cut these trees and these trees but first I actually have to mark the trees I want them to cut and then I'll also harvest these trees now obviously there's a clear difference uh, between these trees that's because these ones have water they're healthy and alive these ones don't have water they're unhealthy and not alive Oh, and it turns out we have a grown-up beaver that is unemployed. Yes, Ate has grown up. Ate? I don't really know. But, whatever the name is, they have grown up. And I'll put them into construction because I think that will be the best thing to do. Right now we have 176 carrots. I think we have plenty of food. We have 90, 105, 120 water. I think that should be enough. But right now all of these are full. So I think I'll put two more buckets down. Or small tanks. Obviously they won't be built right now because... The dam is prioritised. We only have two more, actually. Which is very, very good. We have three beavers build the dam. Broken teeth? Oh, that is not good. Oh, no. Um, as you can see in the top right, there's a little red here, and there's, it says 2.9 days. Which means, in that amount of time, the drought is coming, or the dry season. But... The dam will be finished before then, which is very good. We only have... Actually, it's finished now, except for the... F yeah, it's actually finished now, but we can't get all the way through, so... It's worth building this dam there. I think... Where shall I place this? I think I'll place it right where the house is. I think I'll place two. Uh, a campfire. Yeah, we'll put that right by the houses. So, is the dam built? No. It needs four more logs. There we go. The dam has finished being built. Would you look at that? Just needs one more log. And there it is. There's the beaver that's going to use it. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, that's, that's really cool, actually. I like that. And right now we've got 276 carrots. That is a lot of carrots. That's actually filled up the storage. And then the reason they're still harvesting them is because there's... You can hold 50 carrots in a farmhouse. Yeah, there's all the 50 logs. Um, I think I'm going to end the video here. Be sure to uh, comment if you enjoyed and see you guys next time.